Today I'm going to show you how to create a burning out transition with DaVinci Resolve. So stay tuned. everybody welcome back to another video i hope everybody is staying safe at this uh crazy time that we're living in i've been pretty much staying at home so i've been having a lot of free time at my hand and during this free time i've been uh messing around with da vinci and i came up with this kind of a uh, burning out uh transitional effect that i wanted to show you i hope you will find it uh somewhat interesting and maybe even useful. So let's get on to the computer and I'll show you what I came up with. All right, we're gonna start the transition. I already have two clips on the timeline uh, with a, in DaVinci right now. And as we see here, this clip, we're gonna transition into this clip. So we're gonna take this clip, go over and push it in by six seconds. So, you know, we could appreciate the fire. <laughs> fire. So, anyway, let's select that clip and go into the Fusion tab. Just tap on Fusion. Yeah. Now we're going to right click and make sure it's snapped to grid. We're going to increment uh, effective mass on top of this video click on the ellipse and we want the, this ellipse to start at the beginning so the whole video is hidden so we got to add some keyframes to the width and to the height over here and we're going to set it to zero and then at the end of the clip over here we're gonna set it back to 1.2, 1.2, like so. So as we scrub through, the circle will get smaller and it will start to hide the video. So the video in the bottom will come out, like so. Now we come with the fun part. We're gonna make some fire. Fire! <laughs> so to do that, we're gonna increment a particle system. So on the top over here on the toolbar, there's a P emitter. Click on that. That would put a P emitter node onto um, the diagram and also a p renderer because you can emit particles without having it render out so uh put this on the screen as you see it's in 3d we need to change it to 2d i mean if you were creating some sort of 3d uh particle effect it probably would be best to do that but we just need to do it in 2d so now we go back to the emitter and as you see it's just a circle of particles that just looks pretty <laughs> it doesn't do anything uh, let's let's increase the number of it let's uh, made at least a hundred so now we got more particles but still it's not that interesting uh, Let's bring down the lifespan a little bit to 40. Let's give it some velocity, give it some movement. I'll give it a 0.1. Now, fire usually goes up. I mean, unless you plan to make a frame thrower, then you need to change the angle of it to uh, 90. Also, uh, it's kind of too straight 
we need to give it some angle variance uh, about 35 so it spreads out a little bit next um, let's go to size or install and let's change the style to blob so it'd be like little circular or spears instead of just points and let's go down to size size control and um, let's make the size very big to wow that's pretty bright let's go to size variance and let's just change that to point two. Uh, point two. Okay. So there would be big particles, small particles. Give it that little thing. Let's uh, make the particles start off really strong. And that's all over time it kind of dies down so kind of like how fire behaves you know it starts off warring and then it's kind of you know die down a bit so something like that so as you see it starts off roaring and then it's as it goes up it kind of dies down a bit so let's also make uh create the cutter for it um it starts off with uh, uh orangey cutter and then as it's burning upward they're gonna change to a little red because it's kind of lightens up like so and then let's just continue on um it would get into a lighter red or actually a darker red and then it would start dying down into like grayish smoke And then as it goes to the end of life, it would turn black. So we give it that kind of a, that kind of a range of cutters. So that looks good so far. Um, let's also uh, have it attached to our lips. So as the ellipse expands the fire also does that too so we go into regions and we gotta change it into bitmap and we gotta input that ellipse into uh, the p emitter so now as the circle grows so that's the fire so we also need to uh, smoothen uh, that lips a bit. It's a little too sharp, the edge. Let's give it a 0.04. Softens it a little bit, so it's not looks too sharp. As we see here, it's kind of give it a feather edge. All right. Now fire tends to wiggle left to right a little bit like a kind of wavy let's uh add um hit shift spacebar and add a uh, p turbulence hit enter and let's give it the x shrink to one give it a lot of waviness and let's give uh 0.5 and uh, 0.5 and 0.5 for X and Z. Now, if we go through it, 
you know, the top of uh, the park was kind of wave a little bit. All right. Let's also give us some density too, 20. That looks. Uh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that fire is waving all over. That's nice. All right. Um, next, we're going to go to pre-render. And let's blur it because the particles are still really fine. So, let's blur it a bit. 22. And let's make it pop. Let's give it a 0.55 glow. Uh, glow in 2D. Wow, now that looks like a fireball. You know, if you want to shoot off a fireball, there you go. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, push the, um, the effects to the edge of our... Um, our ellipse. Like so. And now let's take a look and see what it looks like. Nice. All right. Uh, now we gotta attach it to the video. Uh, let's bring in a merge node. Drag that over here. Put the video input as the background. I'll put it to the Mia end and attach the fire over it. Oh, like this. So. Uh, see that fire is like really stand out in the front of the veil. We want to give it like um, a little bit of have the veil at least pop out a little bit. Uh, let's go to, to the merge and change the apply mode to screen. Ah, uh, ah, uh, nice. Yeah, that, that looks good. Now let's render it out, see what it looks like. Now as this video starts, you know, it's going to start burning out like so. And transition to the second video. Anyway, if uh, you have any questions, you know, leave in the comment below. And you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to click on the like button. As well, subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorials, vlogs, fun and challenges. And uh, make sure to click on the notification bell when to get notified when I release new videos. And I'm going to leave some of my social media information on there so you can contact me if you have any questions. Or, you know, follow me on all my social medias. Everybody out there, have a great day and stay safe. See you on the next video. Take care, everyone.